Welcome back, my fellow Scion. So wonderful to see you again. You're going to fail, you know. You will fail and fail and fail, time and time again. You're a hero. It's fated. It's what happens. Take Odysseus. Would the Odyssey have been nearly as great a story if he hadn't encountered the Cyclops? If his crew had not been turned into pigs? If his home had not been invaded by suitors? No. Odysseus had to fail repeatedly for his success to be as grand as it was. So it is for you. In games of Scion Origin and Scion Hero, you have to fail for your success to have meaning. In the last video we talked about successes. That you need to roll 8s, 9s and 10s to succeed at your task. Sometimes you get complications that make the task all the harder. Things like bad weather, faulty parts, that kind of thing. Sometimes you get enhancements that make successes grander, such as you have a melon holder on your counter. In this case, however, we're going to talk about failures and why failing upward is a thing. Consolations make the narrative stronger. You are trying to talk your way into an exclusive nightclub. The doorman's a tough nut to crack. You are a very persuasive, very manipulative person. You've got four dots in the persuasion skill, three dots in the manipulation attribute. Seven whole dots. And you use seven dice to try and talk your way into the club. Tragically, you don't succeed. Maybe it's just not your day. You roll no eights, nines, or tens. Hard luck. Maybe there were too many complications. Perhaps your name was on a list of do not admit. Maybe you were thrown out of the club the night before and the doorman remembers your face. Either way, the complication prevents you from getting in. With consolations, you gain a consolation prize. Now, the story guide can suggest a consolation. The players can suggest the consolation. In this case, let's imagine. The doorman says, look, mate, you're not getting in. Celebrity X turned up an hour ago with his entire entourage. We're at capacity, at which point he turns to the next person in the line. What does that do for you? Well, one, it introduces a new supporting character or a returning supporting character. It introduces a form of Chekhov's gun there, because as we know from playing around with narrative, you wouldn't introduce a character unless they had some role to play in the story. Maybe they're going to be murdered soon, and you will have to solve the how, the why, the who. Point is, that success never happened. You never got into the club, but you did get a consolation. You are trying to break into an apartment, you try and use lockpicks, the lockpicks break. That's a failure. The consolation, however, is no one else can get in or out of the <laughs> apartment now, because your lockpick's broken off in the lock. If you take a, let's say, stealthy, discreet position in the building on the other side of the road, get your binoculars out, you can watch the next person who tries to struggle with the door. Maybe that was what you were waiting for all along. You've jammed a door, inadvertently, but narratively... It creates a strength. Consolation can also lead to something called momentum. Now, rather than having the narrative prize, you can have a point of momentum. Every time you fail, you get a point of momentum. Depending on how badly you fail, you can gain more momentum. But let's say, for the sake of argument, that you fail to break into an apartment, you don't take the broken lockpick. Instead, you take a point of momentum. It goes into a pool in the middle of the gaming table or online space where you're playing. Because every player around the table can access this momentum in the pool. And every time they fail, they can put momentum in the pool as well. But what momentum can be used for is quite exciting. Because at its simplest, you can just use it to add more dice to a roll. Let's take, for example, a sniper is trying to take out a scion of Quetzal Quattle, who is standing on the steps of the city hall, about to make some grand proclamation for the future of the city's electricity works. Because why the hell not? The sniper's about to take out this scion. You see him. You're on the street. You've got a handgun. Usually there's no way you would be able to hit a target that far away. Your complications are through the roof. You've got wind speed. You've got distance to worry about. But you've been building up momentum through your failures earlier in the adventure. Maybe there's four momentum in the pool. And so you... Add them to your firearms skill. All four. You take all four. You already ha had two in firearms. You add the four momentum. You got six. Now you add it to your dexterity for aiming. Maybe you had another four in dexterity. Wow, that's a lot of dice to roll. All of a sudden, despite the complications, you stand a chance of pulling off an heroic success. 
that's what momentum can be used for. But it can be used for other things too. If you're trying complex action, which we will get into, you can use them to re-roll dice. So you can spend momentum after the fact to say, okay, I didn't like that die result, I'm going to re-roll it. You spend the momentum, you get the re-roll. Nice and simple. You also use them, and this is probably the most fun way, to activate knack. Knacks are your Scion's special powers, among your special powers. They can range from all manner of things that we will get into. But let's take, for example, the boxing match, where you keep getting beaten down. You went into this boxing match with the best win in the world, but your athletics isn't high enough, your close combat isn't high enough, you've frankly never had all that much might either. You went in, you were plucky, but you're a failure. You're not a fighter. But there's a part of you inside that feels that as a scion of Ares, you should do your father proud. Well, in this case, you're beaten down once, twice, three times across three separate rounds. It's not enough for a TKO, but you are mm, ailing at this point. Each time you've gained a point of momentum. Maybe you have a knack that enables you to swing your fist as if it's made of granite. Maybe it costs momentum three points to activate, because you can use momentum to activate your knacks. All of a sudden, the next blow you swing is with this special power. And up comes your fist just when the crowd thinks you're beaten, and you KO the opponent in one hit. That is where stories come from. That's where narrative strength comes from. Knacks are these special powers that you can use to swing, to turn the tide, and using momentum to activate them is such a fantastic way of telling a story of how someone was beaten down repeatedly and with their last ounce of strength took out the bad guy. Or the good guy. Nothing saying you have to be good. So, that's Consolation. That's momentum. It's failing upward. It's something all heroes must do. And in Scion, you're going to be failing a fair amount. But don't despair, because those failures will soon turn into successes.